Oh, hey, uh, good to see you all here. My name is Juhani Honkala, and I'm the founder and CEO of Hats Entertainment. And today I'm talking to you about, uh, about the next disruption in mobile gaming and what kind of opportunities it can give uh, for the developers going forward. So what is Hats? Hats is world's first on-demand gaming platform for the mobile. So uh, we were founded a little bit over two years ago. VI is spin off from Provia Entertainment, uh, the Angry Birds company. And uh, our mission is to change the way people play mobile games. And uh, about the monetization, so like today, I think uh, advertisement uh, as a monetization method for the games is quite well established. So. It's already generating like 40 billion in revenue in a in a year. In a year. That's yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's on. Okay. Okay. Very good. Uh, and then uh, in-app purchases, the free-to-play model is quite well established as well. And Super is Supercell, Rovio, uh, Tinga, they are all showing how to make money with the mobile games. And 80% of app uh, related revenue comes from the games. So it's the substantial way to make money. But then, like, if you think, how many games do you know on mobile that are based on the subscription model? That if you, if you think, like, in many other industries, if you think, like, uh, from physical to digital industries, many uh, have seen lots of crowd recently by taking advantage of the subscription model that it's not the, about buying it once, it's not owning it, but it's, it's paying it like on a monthly basis. And this is something like I believe is going to be a big opportunity for the gaming, gaming as well. And I believe that the gaming is going to follow the same path as uh, the music, uh, the movies, etc. And if you see uh, the top subscription apps, as of today, uh, we can see there's Netflix, there's Tinder, there's Pandora, there's YouTube, there's even LinkedIn. But like, where are the games? So this all tells that something is missing from the games. We are missing a very viable monetization method. And uh, I, I myself, I'm, uh, I used to be a free-to-play developer. I, I founded a game studio. Uh, in, in Korea back in 2002, and we, we were focusing on making free-to-play games at, uh, already back, back then. And uh, then uh, I headed advertisement uh, in Rovio, and we were pioneering the use of advertisement in the games. And uh, with the monetization, it really shapes also the way you design the games and what kind of gameplay you can make with the monetization method. And I feel that something is missing from today's mobile gaming, that each game is kind of following the same patterns, the same core loop, etc. And I believe that there are lots of different kinds of games and gaming types we can make uh, possible with bringing subscription-based monetization to the gaming. And uh, what this means is that to enable this new model, on-demand model, for the gaming, it requires that people should be able to play games as easily as they would watch a movie or listen listen a music track from Spotify. So you should be able to just press play to play and that's it. Because that's the only model where people are used to as far as subscription services go. So like the gaming should follow the same pattern. So no fuss, you just want to start playing, no downloads, no installation. And this has been something many companies have tried, and many companies have failed to deliver us as well. And uh, I think you know Netflix. Uh, you, you probably are familiar with PlayStation Now as well. And the challenge with these services are that they are not that suitable for mobile because of high bandwidth usage. So now, like uh, during one year, I go a little bit back to the history, like where, where we started soon. But uh, in one year, we have been able to prove uh, that on-demand gaming is technically possible. And we have been able to make it 
uh, with much lower bandwidth than what the other, other gaming solutions or what the other entertainment solutions require as of today. So HATS is, I think, the world's only on-demand gaming service for mobile, but I believe the only viable uh, service of its kind as well. So with HATS, you can get the full gaming experience, full featured Android games. So this means that you can make your Android game with Unity or with some other engine and you can make it work with on-demand model with hats. So no HTML5 needed. You can create your games as you would otherwise. So no un uncompromised low latency game, no like uncompromised low latency gameplay, native quality graphics. Uh, so the experience is exactly like you would get otherwise. Just the difference is that the games, you don't need to download them, you don't need to install them, you can just start playing straight away. And this platform is also ideal for making multiplayer games that, with this architecture, making multiplayer games is much easier than before. I used to uh, uh, make, make uh, multiplayer games before and I know like how time consuming it's actually to make even a smallest prototype run, to run. That you need to really focus on making lots of network code you need to really like try to figure out like how to synchronize the game sessions, how to make everything work together. And it, it can take like one or two months just to get the first prototype running. With HATS, the cloud architecture like what we have, it allows for making multiplayer games much easier and we have been able to demonstrate that you can get up and running in a matter of two days. So like we have been able to run and make uh, game prototypes in less than a week. So it's a it's a very ideal platform for multiplayer games, uh, future of gaming, and if you compare that with the other kind of instant game applications like Facebook Messenger, uh, I believe that the full featured Android games, they always win, win the match. And then uh, with that, like we, have be, we are now like, uh, demonstrating that we are able to run these games like uh, Angry Birds, we are happy to have in the service. Uh, then Monument Valley, Rayman, Pac-Man, Leo's Fortune, and many other brands. So like we do have greatest premium games already on the service. And uh, we are also like looking to get like more and more premium, premium games there. And this gives each of like a uh, game developer a new opportunities because we can, we can monetize with the premium games and we can help to and let developers to focus on uh, making great games in instead of focusing on the monetization themselves. So how this all started? This started like one year ago, actually in this very room, Vesa, who was sitting in the corner, he was giving the first ever live demo of Hatch. And uh, did, it, did it work? Yeah, I was a super scary moment. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and from there, uh, in February, we had already signed more than 50 content partners with more than 90 signed games in the service. And then we announced close beta uh, early March last year. And from there, we launched this. Uh, in, in the end of the summer, we launched this in Finland followed by Scandinavia. And then it was starting to get hotter already, so like we had already signed more than 100 content partners and more than 250 games to the service. And then uh, after seeing like all the technical benchmarks, all the technical KPIs looked good, we felt confident enough to start rolling this out in the Central Europe as well. So we went to Germany, uh, France, Netherlands, etc., and uh, also like uh, to Estonia uh, in the end of the uh, last year. And today, I'm happy to announce that we are also live now in the UK and in the Ireland as well. So this has been a huge uh, run, basically, from a one like first live demo ever to a fully working live service 
in more than 14 countries within one year. So like, I'm, I'm super happy uh, for my whole team, like they're like truly superstars to make this happen. And uh, uh, when we started, like lots of people like were thinking like, uh, it's, we, we, when, we can never make this work. They were thinking like, we are crazy. Uh, and that because so many companies had failed to deliver this kind of live uh, gaming, on-demand on gaming and the streaming technology, they didn't think like this would never like uh, be possible. But now like I'm very happy to say that we have proven that the cloud gaming is possible, that, that uh, we can do it, and uh, very happy to be live now in so, so many countries. And then, coming soon, uh, we are going to be featured like end of this week in Google Play's uh, early access program, and that's a very huge uh, step for us as well. So uh, we look forward to like getting momentum and increasing like a uh, number of users like as we go forward. So like uh, short year for us, but uh, we have been like able to I think deliver what we promised one year ago in this room. And then uh, the content is really important part of our service, and like we are just a platform, a service like where we want to help bring the best content on the planet to the people. And uh, so we have already Angry Birds, we have Space Invaders, we have Pac-Man, we have Monument Valley, etc. But I'm super proud to announce uh, that we have been able to uh, sign Square Enix on hats as well. So Hitman, I think one of the best mobile games ever, probably maybe one of the best games ever will be will be on hatch uh the hitman sniper and then also like uh other square enix mobile games lara croft go hitman go and deus ex and then uh i just would like to invite you all to join this disruption that uh, we are now looking for more developers. We are looking developers who are interested in gaming, who want to make great games. So like we now have this platform live, this service live in 14 different, more than 14, 14 different countries. So like we would like to, you to invite be part of this disruption. And uh, we want to help you to focus on making great games and we can help, we can take care of the monetization. And uh, I believe like, it's just like matter of time, like when these kind of uh, services become the mainstream, become the the main way of playing playing games. There are so many benefits, and just the gaming is much funnier when you can just start games like pressing play. So like it's all all very good. So uh, thank you for this. Uh, I'm happy to take questions. Like if you have, yeah. Uh, so like uh, the question was like do we have plans on iOS and we have now been focusing on Android because what I have learned from the past is that like you need to focus on one platform for us to get the experience right so we want to now focus on optimizing the experience making sure that the experience is good good and uh, there are no um, technical reasons why why this wouldn't work on on iOS and uh, this is also like something like we look forward forward having in coming years. Any other right. questions? We have a, a couple of minutes, so if there's any questions from the... Uh... Hello, there's one there. I'm going to give you the mic. So, uh... Sorry, it's a little late in coming and joining this talk, so I'm not sure if you're this conference. Yep. How is the revenue model work? developers under the subscription model. Yeah, yeah, so the question was uh, what's the revenue model like for hats? So that's that's very simple. So uh, we have two streams for revenue. We are making money with the advertisement and we are launching the subscription tier this year as well. And we pay out 70% of the revenue to, to developers. So it's very very standard. <laughs> 